And welcome to the kitchen. I'm here now with Don Hall and of course Rhonda Glenn. Don, Great to welcome. Be with both of you. We're glad to have you and we are so excited because I know what we're cooking. Delicious. It is delicious. And nutritious. I love pumpkin, I love apple, and so we're putting it all together. And all the recipes are in Down Home Cooking Without the Down Home Fat. This is an old fashioned Amish recipe and originally it had like 20 or more ingredients. But what I do in down home cooking without the down home fat is I do shortcuts. All the busy people cookbooks oh, are like that. Seven ingredients. Shortcuts. Yep. <laughs> Seven ingredients. Seven ingredients or less. Fast and easy and all made in a half hour or less. And this entire recipe will be from start to finish no more than 15 minutes. And oh, wow. it's, what's so great about it is it's so versatile. You could eat it as a meal with your meal as a fruit and a vegetable because the pumpkin is a vegetable or you could have it for dessert mm -hmm. like with some whipped topping mm -hmm. so it's really versatile. Mm -hmm. We're going to start out with, can you help me? I would love to <laughs> help you. I can, do, I can do this. You want me to spray this? Yes. This is our, our baking spray. dish. And yeah. the reason why I use okay. non-fat cooking spray and everything that I do is just right. to make cleanup easier. Okay. Then we're going to use um, a can of pie filling. Now the reason why I use pie oh, filling is it saved me peeling the apples, mm -hmm. cutting the apples, making the sauce with the cornstarch. Just you go, can go ahead. ahead. Right in. Uh -huh. All right. I don't want to do anything wrong here. because You don't have to worry. I know this is going to work because this is a really easy recipe. <laughs> All I just don't want to mess it up. <laughs> All of my recipes are easy and to be honest, I say they're foolproof. I'm not calling you a fool. <laughs> um, appreciate it. No, but I they know are you foolproof. You don't need yeah. to worry about it. Honestly, she knows who she's dealing with here. She, <laughs> she must have heard about us before she got here. Uh. Okay, so you want me to put this in yes. with the yes. apples? All yeah. right. And we didn't have, I couldn't find a 30 ounce can, so what we're going to use is one and a half cans. All right. About All right. And then what we're going to do is just mix them, the ingredients together. So, so just simple. Half a can of the mm -hmm. pumpkin. Yeah, you're doing good. Does Rhonda get to do anything? I'm yeah. having all the fun here. No, I'm just I here get, for the comic you know relief. What? I bet Rhonda gets to taste it. That's not okay. fair. Okay. No, I'm, okay. I'm all about the tasting. Okay. So that's about half a mm -hmm. can. Now, all right. While you're mixing that, I'm going to mm -hmm. tell the viewers, what we've done is we've saved about at least 10 ingredients by using two products that the manufacturers did all the work for. And I'm all about that. I want it to look like we slaved on it all day. I want it to taste like we slaved on it all day. But the truth is I want it fast and easy mm -hmm. and low fat, seven ingredients or less, and a half hour or less. So this so is mixed. That's all mixed up. Pop that in the microwave That's for all about I do? five minutes. Okay. Yep. Do I cover it with plastic wrap You first? could if you wanted to, but you really don't need to. It's fine the way it is. It's not going to pop or anything. In a couple okay. minutes, you can stir it. But right. in the, So we'll put that in there. In the meantime, okay. I think that we have one finished. All right. Rhonda, my lovely yes. sister. Rhonda, you're all set. I'm going to have you move over here. Okay. This is just a we are going to use <laughs> three-fourths of a cup of reduced fat baking mix. Now, okay. an easy rule of thumb, when you're doing your baking if you want to eat low fat no yes. more than three grams of fat per hundred calories okay. this wasn't low fat but I noticed it only had five grams of fat for 160 so it's okay. real close to being low fat so I'm not okay. gonna worry about it okay and I think it's important to kind of live life like a river when it's river represents life and when it's something is really important stand solid like a rock but when it's not important just go with the flow okay. so don't stress yourself out if you can't get real close. So we need three-fourths of a cup of baking mix. So we're going to use a half and a, a quarter cup here. And this is going to be our crumb topping. Oh, wow, that smells good. One. You know, this really <laughs> smells good. Mm -hmm. I can smell it already. And you haven't even put the crumb topping on it yet. No. Mm -mm. Here we go. And then, so now this is a sign of proof of a good cook. Look at that mess. <laughs> <laughs> well, that must be a really good Sorry, tip. <laughs> One egg white. Now the egg yolks are where the fat is. That's the unhealthy part of the egg. And actually, to eat two or three a week, that's good for us. But when we eat loads of them, that's when it's unhealthy. Do you have any tricks for keeping the shell out of your mixture? Um, you want to say a little prayer first. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> Then In other words, no. <laughs> no. <laughs> I was hoping. A quarter yeah. cup of dark brown sugar. Yeah. And we need to make sure we get that oats opened up for me. Okay. There we go. Then, then you need some oats. Yep. Okay. We're going to use a quarter cup of dark oats. Not dark oats, just whole oats. Here we go. Half a cup. Half a cup of cooking oats. Is Oops, right? thank you. You're welcome. <laughs> I come oh, in handy. Yeah. I said it's foolproof. There you go. <laughs> oh, yeah, 
you're good. <laughs> there okay. you go. Just go ahead and mix that together in a half a teaspoon of ground cinnamon. I love. I love cinnamon. Mm -hmm. You know what? I tend to be a little heavy-handed with cinnamon because mm. I like it so much. Mm -hmm. If it calls for half a teaspoon, go a little, go a little <laughs> overboard. Live on the edge. Do you know, now with most crumb mixtures, you use a lot of hard or cold butter. I notice right. that you don't use any in this. So you see you know why you noticed grams. it? Because you watch your fats. Yes, we I do. Yeah, yeah good I for really you. Do. Now, I lined the cookie sheet. Okay. Do you guys know why I lined it? Because it looks nice. Easy cleanup. And easy cleanup. And it, I was going to say that. That. That was Yeah. Such a good choice. <laughs> with that one first okay. Then I'm going to spray the cookie sheet with non-fat cooking spray, which actually this has fat in it, but because of the consistency that it comes out of, it's so light that it doesn't measure enough yeah. to equal one gram of fat. Okay. And one gram of fat would be ten or nine calories. So this is, isn't this a great crumb topping? Mm -hmm. And what I did is put this in the oven and then I'll mix half of it inside the casserole and half of it on top and the okay. whole thing is done. Wow. If you know what if we were if I was smarter I would have done the crumb topping first. Let that go in while it's baking for five minutes and that's for five minutes because that took so you say you put half of the crumb topping into the casserole. Do you do that mm -hmm. before you put it in the microwave or nope. after? Nope. So after it's been in the microwave. Yep, because now this is nice okay. and warm. Thank you. The There's the finished product. Thank you. Oh, it's dishes. nice and warm. Yeah, be careful. It's very hot. And can I help you here? You know what? Let's what get a here? spoon or something. Here All we go. Right. And just break it up. Okay. Girls want to taste this? Quality mm. assurance. We have okay. to make sure it tastes can good taste before. It? Yes, please do. Mm. But you're right, usually mm -hmm. crumb toppings have a lot of fat in them. And I'm going to put... This is a great recipe for fall. Mm-hmm. Tasting the cinnamon and the pumpkin and... Mm-hmm. Mm. Wouldn't this perfect. be great at Christmas, too, though? Mm -hmm. Think about it. You have apple pie and pumpkin pie mixed together with a crumb topping. You've got all it all f together. Right. This is a good recipe for Christmas. You're right. And now... Can we're I help you? Yeah, we're just going to... spring. If it's, Feel how warm it is. Oh, it's warm enough. We can use our hands and just sprinkle it on top. My hands are clean. I always tell my kids that when I'm using my hands in the kitchen. Ooh, that is a hot pan, though. It's fine. Okay. So you go. just now this is the decoration on top. Well, this is. Are we? It just it, it's, not mixing it it's in. It's two right? part, right? It's part one visual and one to give it texture and crunch and. Mm -hmm. This, like I said, this is a good either a vest. You could use it as a vegetable because of the pumpkin, or you could use it as a dessert. Mm. So it's very versatile. You guys want to, what's most important is how good it tastes. You guys want to okay. get something? There you go, Don. Thank you, Rhonda. So thanks, Anne. Okay. So should we have? We a, should probably get a spoon to serve it. Rhonda's got one right okay. in front of her there. Thank you. And I want your honest to goodness. Opinion. Well, you know what? First of all, this is fat-free. I love to wow. smell things, and this smells really good. Oh, good. So I, I'm sure it's going to taste delicious. And that's what's most important. I don't care how healthy it is. If it doesn't taste good, right. mm -hmm. don't oh, waste yeah. your calories the on kids it. Kids won't eat it if it doesn't mm -hmm. taste good. So, okay, and ready? all the recipes in Down Home Cooking Without the Down Home Fat are easy that children can make them, too. Mm -hmm. I mean, your child could very easily stir those things oh, together yeah. while... You were making crumb topping, mm. you know? Oh, it smells good. Shall we okay. taste it? Okay. <laughs> Are you ready? Mmm. 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 That is the best vegetable I've ever had in my life. <laughs> best vegetable mm. you've ever had in your life? Mm -hmm. That's really good. Makes that your mouth water. It was so easy. Seasons of flavors. Like, really, it was really fast. That is mm -hmm. absolutely delicious. So if you would like mm. to make this recipe, here's a short recap of the ingredients that you'll need and how to use them. For Don Hall's Harvest Casserole, these are the ingredients you will need. One 30 ounce can of pumpkin pie mix, one 21 ounce can of apple pie filling, one egg white, three quarters of a cup of reduced fat baking mix, a half a cup of quick cooking oats, a quarter cup of packed dark brown sugar, and half a teaspoon of ground cinnamon.